In flat screen games, it is just a matter of pressing the right mouse button to bring your gun scope up. And many games do this in different ways. For example, we have the classic aiming. Pretty much how scopes have been portrayed since the beginning of gaming. It has a black border around the reticle, which kind of feels unrealistic to me. And something that we mostly see in the somewhat older games. We also have this zoom scope over here in modern Warfare 2019. The scopes zoom in the entire screen like normal, but there is an added effect that makes the scope seem more magnified. And last but not least, we have the picture in picture side. The scope itself actually magnifies what's inside of it without the entire screen zooming in. Arguably the most realistic depiction of scopes in a game and I was especially intrigued with this one when playing Red Orchestra 2 for the first time. What a game. Now in virtual reality this goes to a whole new level of complexity and there are also many variants to be seen so let's rank them from worst to what I think is best. And first of all, there is no such thing as right clicking. The best part in VR is that you have to physically bring your weapon up and look through the scope. And that's even better with a gun stock, I can tell you that. Now, let's start with the most immersion breaking experience. And that is when, in some VR games, you have to bring your scope up and then when the gun gets closer to your eyes, the whole screen turns into that scope. Your whole view turns into that scope. Very similar to what you see in the older games with classic aiming and something that definitely turns me off in VR. Up next, I will show you the scopes in Contractors. Here, it already gets better. Bringing the scope to my face doesn't turn my view into that classic aiming mode. However, the scope is a bit too transparent for my liking. Like it's just an empty hole and it has no glass. Here in this game, also, if you put the scope a little bit down, the pass-through of the scope seems to magically turn off. Most likely to increase performance, I guess. And as you can see here, so putting the gun back into my face, the pass-through turns on, the scope turns on, I guess, and then putting it away, it, it, it shuts it off. Not really doing the trick for immersion here. Let's move up to just a bit better. Onward. I love the game. Weapons feel good and detailed and the scope, well, they do it right. There is just one negative I have and that is when getting the scope closer to the face, the pass through, the scope, it seems again, like the others, that there is no glass in the middle. It's empty. But overall, overall, you know, the scope doesn't turn off when I put the gun away. Um, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, we're getting better and better. This is Vil VR. Awesome scopes. Look at the reflection of the red dot in the middle to the outside. There is glass. And when holding it closer, you can see a bit of reflection in the scope. There is a little flare, so there is something in that scope. And, and yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. This is how scopes, in my opinion, should be. I think they absolutely nailed it. And although I think Vil VR takes the crown here, I have to say that they share a spot together with the scopes in Ghost of Tabor. Not only because of the scopes, but the details in how to adjust the scope on your weapon or zoom in. They have made, uh, th this is what VR is all about and they made use of it. Also, the reflection is great and it actually feels like you are looking through the scope here as well. It's like you can see a bit of fingerprints here on the scope, on the glass. Also, the reflection of the lighting is fantastic in my opinion. Nothing here that is immersion breaking. Top notch work from Ghost of the, the Board, the developers, and from the developers of Vail VR. Now, let me know in the comments down below what you think, which game has the best scopes in VR. Let me know, uh, and I will definitely be checking them out. Also, check this out, how this reloading system works in Ghost of the Board. That's another topic, but damn, I need to show it off. Well, um, I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.